Yeah, so um, you know, I spent uh, some of the evening yesterday sort of doing the math, really going through these studies, trying to figure out what he was talking about, and some of it still did not make sense. So uh, you know, uh, we uh, I called him. He uh, uh, he and I talked for a while, really going through these numbers, and shortly after that, he put out this uh, tweet, these series of tweets, basically clarifying what he said. And I think I think this is important because uh, I think what people heard. Uh, at the press conference on Sunday was, look, if 100 people take this treatment, 35 people would survive that otherwise wouldn't have survived. That's what people were sort of left with, and that certainly sounds pretty impressive. Uh, but that's not uh, really what the study showed at all, and I think that's what Dr. Hahn was sort of apologizing about. He misrepresented that data. Let me just show you this quickly. I know it's a lot of math for the morning, but let me just show you this because I think it's important. I really spent a lot of time looking at this Mayo Clinic study yesterday, and we could show you here. Um, 35,000 people roughly were studied. This was new data that was presented to the FDA. They say uh, late uh, Friday night and into Saturday. So this is what they were using uh, for that Sunday press conference. But here's what it shows. 35,000 people were studied. If you got the high dose of the convalescent serum, there was an 8.9% mortality after a week. 8.9% of people died versus the low dose, 13.7%. So instead of saying 35 more people would survive after a week, it would be closer to five people may survive after a week. Now, neither one of those groups of people were compared to a placebo, compared to a group of people who did not receive the convalescent serum at all. So we don't know, is this really the convalescent serum? Is it something else? Let me show you. When we looked at the data a little bit more closely, we found people in these groups were also getting other medications. They were getting steroids. They were getting remdesivir. So, you know, close to half the people were getting steroids. So was it the steroids? Was it the convalescent serum? You don't know. That's why the, the controlled randomized trials are necessary. And those haven't been done yet. And I think that's been the criticism. Mm -hmm.